No, real estate, it's definitely still a boys club. It's very male dominated in terms of culture and, you know, relationships. Now there are some, you know, obviously big female players in it, but I do think there is an overall concept of it still being a male dominated field. I really didn't start using TikTok until about three or four months into the pandemic when we were still all trying to collectively figure out, are we allowed to do showings? Are we allowed to do virtual showings? Um, because there's a lot of different rules when it comes to play. But as far as how serious I've been on it, I've gotten significantly more serious in the past six months. I mean, it might be pretty safe to say that, you know, without COVID and the whole pandemic, that there would be no NYC agent on TikTok, or at least she wouldn't be me. I think COVID really pushed me to be creative and adaptive in how I look at my job and look at my career. And I, it really kickstarted this whole fire within me. I was actually unsure of if I even wanted to do real estate past a certain point and it just completely changed my entire perception on things and it made me work so much harder and it's so crazy to hear myself say that like an app that I originally thought was just for dancing and kids has completely changed my life I now get all of my clients from TikTok 86.6 percent of them are women so therefore I've made these like incredible friends that you know Hopefully the relationships last not just this year and not just next year, but, you know, I help them find their first home and I kind of get to see people go through these phases of life and they get to see the same with mine. But no, um, COVID definitely changed my life um, in a lot of ways, but this happened to be one of the positive ones.